Hello everyone and welcome back. And this will be a general weekly reading for the sign of Aries for the week of November 26th. And I hope everyone's doing well. And I would like to thank everyone who has been subscribing to my channel and helping it grow and getting noticed. And all the thumbs up for the videos you've watched. And the comments. Thank you. Okay. Ooh, very nice card to start out with, the sun card. So, having a little more positive frame of mind this week for many of you. You seem a little more happier than you have in the past. And things are starting to go your way and you're feeling it. Like you're actually starting to enjoy yourself again. It's like a rebirth. You found, you know, the answers that you needed and you're moving forward now. And the Nine of Rods, yeah, you've definitely found the courage and determination. You know, you have more faith in your next steps. You're not holding yourself back anymore. You're understanding that, you know, what has taken place is done and this is like your last stand you're on your own you're okay with that and you can move forward from there and the magician and just like that in comes your dreams you know what you want what you manifested it's like magic it's coming towards you now you faced your difficult challenges you're moving on you know and you're reminding yourself as you go through this this week that you know it's hard to understand sometimes why we have to go through certain things to get to where we are but it's a part of life and you're realizing it and you're also realizing your own potential going forward and you're understanding that you want to you have a dream here that you want to bring around and and you're not taking no for an answer and the universe is listening to you which is really nice. And the three of rods. Yeah, you're looking at all your potentials. You know, you're standing there on the edge. You're on solid foundation. You take care of yourself. You do what you got to do. And you're realizing that, okay, so I put my ships out there and to the world to see what it comes back. And you're just waiting now patiently for something to come back to you, something that you wanted. You know, you're understanding that what you've had to endure is now becoming an end. And the King of Swords. Yeah, you are so determined this week to move ahead in a new direction. And you're telling yourself the truth. You're being honest. You're understanding different areas in your life and, and why they turned out the way they did and the things that are coming into your life and how they're coming about. And you're understanding that you know, you brought them here because you've wanted them. So you definitely have clear intentions here moving forward. And the temptress. Very nice. You're balanced. You're in harmony. You're motivated to change things. And things are just starting to flow the right way for you. And you're understanding that as well. You can see it and feel it. And you're understanding that this is a new beginning. And as things come in to mix together, they're mixing very nicely. It's uh, almost effortlessly that it's just happening. Everything that you've anticipated or wanted or envisioned is now coming your way. And that's very nice. And the Five of Cups, and that's all right. You know, we all have to go through different things. You know, so you spend a little bit of time you know, remembering a bit about your past with a few disappointments. But it's no great loss. You've understood that as well. You know, you've understood that, you know, you're grieving it a little bit. But you're also understanding what it taught you so that you can move forward. And, and you will. You are determined to bring new, exciting things into your life. And you're moving forward on that. So you just, you know, 
probably wishing maybe perhaps you've done it a little bit sooner, but it's okay when it happens, it's supposed to be, they say. And the Eight of Cups, yeah. So something has not turned out the way you planned or hoped. And you're understanding that you're making a withdrawal from it this week. You're understanding you're no longer wanting to put time and effort into something that's not meeting you even halfway. So you're understanding that it's okay for you to walk away, you know, pack your bags and walk away because it's not going to change anything by staying there and keep giving effort to something. <coughs> Pardon me. You know, it's, uh, you're leaving something behind here, something from, you know, that you've, like I said, put some definitely time and effort into, but it has not got you any happiness, so you're retreating from it. And the Six of Swords. So definitely, definitely making a transition. You're changing. You're leaving things behind you. You're understanding that, you know, you can't keep putting time and effort into something that's giving you nothing back in return. So you're, you know, going to pack your bags and move on to calmer, better shores for yourself. Something that's going to pay you and reward you mentally as well as physically. And this could be as in a job too, for some of you. You know, maybe you've been there a long time and they don't see, you know, the potential or the worth that you have and they've just left you on the back burner. You're just, you know, you're there, but you're not appreciated and you can sense it. So maybe you've taken the time lately to, you know, put out resumes or make applications to different places to see what your potential is and realize just that, you know, your potential is very high and people are trying to get you on the phone and interview you and they want you to come to where they are. And, you know, and if that's the case, you're going to move lock, stock and barrel because you're understanding that that is more in in line with what is good for you it's more pay it's higher rate it will raise your standards of living it will make your life go a little bit smoother and calmer and that's the path that you're deciding to take oh and the two of cups very nice and you know there might be a for some of you is a new partnership in the near future you know it's a mutual attraction something that you are drawn to each other it's not you're looking for somebody it's just that they're they're there and you seem to hit all the right notes together you have the same ideas and perspective and what you want in your lives and you know this could be something heading in a very nice way for many of you and the nine of pentacles yeah there you have your fruits of your labor. You're very, you know, understanding. You have enough. You have luxuries. You don't really need anything. You know, and you're learning to reward yourself as well. You're not just hoarding, you know, if you're working. You're not just hoarding everything. You're actually enjoying it now. You're, you know, yourself um, understanding that, you know, you have all that you need and you can do whatever you want and I think this week is what you're looking into doing something that you've been thinking of doing for a while and the four of swords yeah you're uh, taking some rest and relaxation and meditating and you know really contemplating what your next move is you're not just jumping into it you're understanding that it takes time and you know you put a lot of hard work in to get to where you are in the comfortable state that you're in and now you want to understand what your next move wants to be you haven't really quite committed to anything yet so you're taking that time out to understand yourself a little bit more and the seven of cups so yeah you definitely you know have lots of lofty ideas and wishes and opportunities and there's a great chance for you to you know pick the right path for yourself but right now you're just in the dream mode you're not quite sure what your next move should be, which way you want to go. You're trying to settle on one thing and there's like a million pouring into you, <laughs> which 
happens as well. So now you're just trying to understand what's your next move for yourself. All right, I'm going to shuffle and deal you an angel oracle card. And sorry that my throat is sore. I've been a little under the weather. <clears throat> All right. All right. Your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you and release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and your mind. That's very nice. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now, and I will talk to you again next week. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and bye for now.